1 Corinthians 7, 3 through 4. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband, and likewise also the husband hath not power of his own body, but his wife. 1 Corinthians 7, 11-14 But and if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her husband. And let not the husband put away his wife, for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. First Peter 3, 1 through 4. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives, while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear, whose adorning let it not be the outward adorning of plaiting the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. First Peter 3, 7 Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered. Ephesians 5, 23, 25. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Colossians three nineteen. Husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter against them.